Hi, you're with Hockey Painter Daryl, and today I'm going to paint an eye. Uh, this eye here. Well, actually, it'll be this eye. And I'm going to do that. I've talked about getting to this stage of the painting process, and now I'm going to do it. One of my friends said, you know, you're showing it, but we don't get to see you actually paint. So I'm going to do the paint today. I'm going to show you what I do. So that's what we're going to get on to. The first time you're going to see me do some painting. I've talked about painting doing the setup, so we'll see how it goes to do a little painting. And I'll talk you through it as I do it. Okay, so here's the painting where I am right now. And there it is. And you see how I have things set up to do, and I'm going to do the this eye right there today. My paint is ready to go. I've got my titanium white, burnt sienna. There's my oil paint. I've got some raw and burnt umber mixed together. Black, I've got for the eye color, blue. And sap green, the one in the middle, the other green I really don't care for. So we're gonna give it a go. So here I am. We're gonna get started on that eye. So, I'm going to be talking while we do it and try and explain what an artist does with a painter. And again, I go by hockey painter Daryl because I play ice hockey and I paint primarily ice hockey painters on the blades of sticks. That's why I'm painting on a blade right now. So I'm going to get my brushes out and take a look. I need some fine brushes to get started today. Very fine. And that's what I'm going to look for, my fine brushes. I'm going to start here with this one. And this brush is a 3-0. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the white in the eye. So I'm going to go in here, and I can see it. Just want to get that white in there. A lot of shading is going to happen today. So as you can see, I do the white. Can't see a lot of this right here, but I can. I'm going to put that in this part of the eye. And I'm going to try and get all that done first. And I'm going to paint around it. So you see, I'm going to put some white around there. Look at the creases up top. And this small brush is going to do a very nice job. I'll be very pleased with this. So I'm going to do the lid right here. So there's the lid and above the lid. So that's what I first do is do the white. And I use very little paint. I'm not using a lot of paint. So that white is now finished. And I'm going to use a very, very tiny brush. Because right now I'm going to do the black for the eye. And I've got my clean sock here so I can wipe paint off if I think I have too much. So I've got my magnifying glasses on. So the first thing I do is the outside. I'm going to do the outside very round. It's going to be very round. You can always fix that, but... This is the key. So imagine that there were no lids here and you saw the, it would be like a marble. A lot of times when people paint, they forget that. You have to be very careful with it. And now I'm going to go right to the middle. And it looks very strange when you're doing it, the pupils. Very strange when you're doing it. That's why you also have to be patient because it takes a long time. When you're drawing, you can get instant results, but when you paint, it doesn't happen like that. It takes a long, like right now it looks very strange, but when I'm done it won't. I'm going to put a little bit of black up here. This would be my eyelashes, I just so I can kind of... Keep that in. Just a 
bit. Not too much, but there we go. And I see a little bit of black down here, just a tiny bit. I want to keep that in there. So you see what a tiny brush I use, and I'm going to keep them over here. And now, in small, very tiny. This one is an 18 slash zero. And now I'm going to put the color in. So look at the size. It's smaller than my baby fingernail. And I have to make sure that both of these are the same size. So that's going to be a key. Actually, I think the size is a little bigger. I think I've done it too small. I may have to do it a little bigger. So, but right now I'm going to put the. I'm going to make some blue, some white, and a little tiny green. Because I have hazel eyes. And I'm wearing my Chicago Blackhawks jersey today. It's a 1960-61. That's jersey replica. And I'm going to see if I like this color. So I'm going to put it in. Let's see if that color is the one I want. That's hard to tell right now, but a blue-green. Bring that up more. So, how about a little more light would help? Let's see. I hope I want my eyes bluer. So I'm going to mix right on here, as you can see. I like this plexiglass, and I think I like that color blue. I do, but it has to be a little lighter. So I'm going to go sneak and get a little more white. There we go. Maybe a tad green. Just to know it's there. A little bit more of this sap green. Don't want it to get that color. Let's see. Get a little more green. So I need some more green in there. A little more green. Here it comes. And that is small. There we go. See? So I'm liking that. Okay. So that's how I get started. I'm going to be blending. So the next time you see me, I, hopefully, well I know I will, I will have a finished eye. So until then, have a great time.